and a very good morning to you. This is the Talk of the Town. Our guest this morning is Dr. Ravindranath Dabre, who is, of course, the chairman of the Centre for Environmental Justice. Good morning to you, Dr. Dabre. Good morning. Now then, um, Express Pearl, uh, minimum claim that could accrue to the government coffers, $6.4 billion American. What's uh, going on? Has Sri Lanka actually started the proceedings? Have we filed a case against the owners? The Sri Lankan authorities were initially telling that they were collecting evidence to file the civil claim in Sri Lanka against the polluters and they were in the process of uh, collecting the data and assessing the damage. But while saying that they have not provided the adequate facilities, they have not even uh, provided the access to the scene. Even they have not given permission and authority and uh, faci- they have not facilitated the expert team to obtain samples from the wreck. But that's, uh, that's astonishing. It's 23 months later. Uh, who's holding it all up? Why can't they be arrested for hold, uh, for withholding or and not allowing the government to get on with its job? Surely that's, that's an offence. Yes, the, gov- the government, that's why we are, we are pushing the government. Even the government authorities are not taking up this seriously because this, they, they, I don't know how these uh, foreign uh, c- companies, uh, foreign ship owners are ac- doing this type of high-handed activities. Well, I mean, it's absolutely disgraceful. They're acting as though they own this country and that they are the government. They should yeah. be... Uh, their agents should be promptly arrested, I think, don't you think? Yes, that's why we are seeking the intervention of the Supreme Court to act against the government officials, those who are responsible uh, for these type of acts and those who are responsible for not performing their duties. The uh, Our president, uh, a few days ago, said that, you know, if these uh, exam papers are not being marked, that he w- he will prosecute these people and even they will lose their property. So that's a good idea. Why can't these agents and their, or the owners and their representatives, they should be prosecuted and, and stand the potential that they may lose their own property if they don't act? Yes, actually they should be prosecuted uh, by the government officials because there are a number of departments, number of uh, authorities set up by the government funds and maintained by the uh, public funds. But they are allowing the polluters to continue their high-handed activities without even assessing uh, the damage uh, caused uh, properly and without even uh, executing the legal uh, instruments and the, without even uh, taking the legal action against the high-handed acts. So really, this is what we call the monkey business. Not about these exports of monkeys to China, but there's some monkey business going on here because some money, according to the Minister of Justice, somebody's been paid, paid some money to, to block all this. And another person says, I heard, that um, this money has gone to some person or entity in Canada. Yeah. So that, to me, sounds like a real monkey business. Yes, of course. Those, those people should be... Uh sent away, uh, sent out of the country because if they, if these uh, p- uh, sort of people and officials are permitted to stay in the country, they will somehow they sell uh, the half of the country and uh, yeah, to outsiders and uh, even outsiders and we will, be, uh, the country will be in a per- real, uh, situ- uh, real peril. Just before we finish, I just, a thought just crossed my mind just now. Some years ago, when Mahinda Rajapaksa was the president, uh, they um, referred to the lawyers who were appearing for the Sunday Leader newspaper. They called them traitors. Well, I believe that there is a real case to call whoever is responsible for not pursuing this claim against the Express Pearl. It's $6.4 billion minimum. Those who are responsible for that delay, I believe truly that they are traitors. Yes, that has to be there. They have to be treated as traitors and uh, actually they should be cursed uh, by the whole uh, uh, nation. Absolutely, especially because we've just managed to get within brackets, you know, get $2.9 billion from the IMF. But that's a loan and we have, all of us have to pay it back. Whereas the $6.4 billion minimum isn't 
alone, it's money that is due to this country. Yes. Dr. Dabri, thank you very much for being on Talk of the thank Town. Thank you very much for the invitation. And it's now time to rejoin Domino Sanka, um without any monkey business on the morning fix. Thank you.